Anton. For silk cloth and the old kennel. Sleeping like a baby. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock, him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Haven't we all? Because we all have at that. Well done, Corporal. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The Royal Physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with a tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. All right, we'll save our game. All right, now that we saved our game, we're going to do a bit of looting. Try not to prolong this too much with looting. Attention, citizens. This evening. There's Tivian or there. For a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest. Copper wire there. I'm working on a and new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction. There's a coin here. We'll get up here, get up here. Whip out our blink. Hit a blink over here. Inside Emily's room, check on her. Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Poor dear. It's okay, Emily, I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there. She looked like she's having a seizure. You better check on her. Alright, uh, in here we're gonna find some Tibian ore, and if you check under Emily's bed. There are some medicinal herbs. So, go ahead and grab that. And then I will show you a bone charm that's in this mission that uh, obviously didn't show up in the uh, walkthrough since I kind of skipped these areas entirely for the uh, stealth walkthrough. But it's definitely worth picking up. We're going to head up through here, not jump off the... Because uh, that would be stupid. We'll hit down here. Oh! Oh, the window's not open. All right. Head in here. We'll go upstairs. I don't know. I never remember what actually is spawns in these rooms in between each mission. Likelihood something is in here. Let's say about 0%. What are you two cooking up in here? Uh, no good can come from that, I assure you. All right, in here. Offense, and will be summarily punished by officers of the watch. Display your pride in Dunwall by respecting the property and rights of others in these trying times and preserving the timeless beauty of our fair city. All right, you want to grab that key because that key is actually going to open the abandoned apartment which is Callista's apartment, and it's in there that you wind up finding your bone charm. So we'll make our way all the way back here. If you need a rewire tool, if you've burned any, there's one right there to refill on. Having one to take into the next mission if you completely have none would be semi-helpful. Inside here, we'll grab some hemlock essence. There is processed whale oil here, and our bone charm is under the bed in this room. Oh, rat scent! That's the one I've been waiting on! Uh, how did it know? Alright, we'll grab this health elixir because why not? Alright, then we will go to bed. Let's see here. The window's open on this side. Uh. 
And nobody left us any presents because nobody loves us. You'd think all this good we do, someone would be leaving us gifts like thanks for saving the world, but no. Corvo, wake up. You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. You were having I a seizure while you were sleeping. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. How is she going to know you're here? We better go tell Callista where Emily is. Lydia, you doing all right? Yep, well, Mr. Sokolov has certainly recovered. A good night's sleep has left him with an appetite. That's good. Uh, I think she's down here. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without Piero, delay. Piero, what are you doing? Get I away from it, there. Looks, I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. <coughs> Bullshit. The truth is, there is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and beg for your discretion. Okay, sure, whatever. There's some loot in here to grab, though. Can't you see I'm about to bathe? About to bathe? Looks like you're already... Hey, you want a little company, baby? Come on, Callista. You know you want Big Daddy Corvo in there with you. Corvo, under other circumstances, I assure you I might welcome your advances. But rats, plague, and tyranny have a way of killing the mood. Damn you, Cersei. All right. I'm going to take five coins. All right, apparently she didn't want to know where Emily was. That was the chief reason for going down there to talk to her, but, you know, whatever. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Maybe she doesn't care about Emily as much as we think she does. Anything back here? No. I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I hope he will, too. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo knows what loyalty means. Bah. I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spy master, or the Lord Regent, as he called him. The ruthless tyrant bent on destroying the city. The heart of the Empire. Ah, why can't we jump over the railing? You're mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond. Scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us, Sokolov. Mm -hmm. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat was funding the I'm military. not listening to you. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, hmm. and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Anton, buddy. You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Uh, let's see if the rats are hungry. Nah, you know what? I can't do it. It's Sokolov. Curious strategy. Of which I approve. He keeps getting himself captured. That's, he needs to be more careful. Piero, you peeping Tom. Where you at? It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. 
However, I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff, a blend of rare Pendisian spices and a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? If you hate it so much, why did you buy it? All right, let's do some upgrades. So this is our blueprint that we picked up during the previous mission. And then we will upgrade crossbow reload, pistol magazine, pistol magazine, pistol reload, and still have enough to buy our, ooh, maybe we want, Ah, we'll take pistol reload. Now we should still have enough to buy our brandy and a few coins for crossbow bolts. There we go. I have grenades, don't I? Yeah. All right. All right. So we just spent all our money, just burning a hole in our pocket. I could use a drink. Come over here, let me give you some liquor. Here's your bottle. King Street Brandy? I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. You just gotta put that right inside your chest, I are you? I can't tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. Is that the only thing you did but to I her from behind? I don't know which boy mm -hmm. she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle Estate. Tonight, the timing is perfect. The Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. May I so be favored. All right. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. He won't be looking for you much longer after I blast him in the face. Emily, what's up? What are you doing down here? Just hanging out? Alright. The Boyle costume ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Samuel, you old river crust you, let's get out of here. yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will let you blend right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. Across here. Please clear the streets. This area is restricted to invited guests only. If you need health elixir, there's a health elixir down in this guard shack. Otherwise, there's really nothing else. 
We're gonna head down here and wait for some shit to get stirred up. Make it three more months. There should be weepers that wind up wandering in here at some point. What in the there we go. Someone, please! Someone help me! Someone get over here! Well, that's that. Well, that guard just murked those weepers. Get back on your patrol path, son. There you go. <coughs> now get stabbed. Oh, shit! Can I pickpocket him as I'm carrying the guard? No. Oh, come on. Come on. Take your gun, though. Let the rats have some dinner down there. Um. <laughs> Whatever. That was an incredibly strange sound. I don't know who saw what. I'm not sure that I care either, but still. And, you know what? I've always wanted to know, what's the deal with this rewire box? You know what? I have no idea. Oh, we can't rewire it. Well, son of a bitch. All right. I've always seen this, and I've always wondered, uh, but I've never tried to rewire it, but I figured since there was a free rewire tool over here on the table, I might just go ahead and do that, but... Nope. All right, we'll grab some copper wire. Grab some copper wire. there and then we're going to head up into this room and grab ourselves a bone charm and a rune off an outsider shrine let's see can we get up there doing some fancy footwork with the jumping or do we have to blink oh there oh yeah got that up 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 up, up over here Okay, we are going, it, if you are doing this, make sure you blink to this side because the guy that's in there tends to be like right there. And uh, if you can get over to this, you can come in a window and take him out. Bone charm. We'll set him up here. Hopefully the uh, other two weepers that are in here, only one of them is coming down the hallway at the moment. I hear some walking. And hopefully she won't walk her ass in here. But if she does, we're going to be prepared. Uh. It's the sound Lady Boyle was making when Sokolov was giving it to her from behind. Uh. What? She was saying, uh, get off me, old butter. All right. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab this. Going to a party, Corvo? Indeed I am. You wanna Is come? Is that what you dreamed of? All those months in Cold Ridge Prison while waiting for the executioner? Well... Beautiful women in the latest fashions, laughing and drinking Tibian wine. Wine, wealth, and, and women? Is that what I was dreaming of in prison? Boy. Yes. I can see all Not necessarily moments, in that order, though. And I know that either she dies tonight at your hand, or she'll live out her days, month after month, year after year, far away, even as her fine clothes wear into tatters and her silken hair gets dull and gray. Half the city can see the lights from the party, and they dream of the delights inside. Will you tear it all to pieces? Either way, it's Lady Boyle's last party. Alright, we're gonna head over here, grab a coin, grab some powdered crystal, hemlock essence. It's all bath salts to me. Let's put our gun on. Come around here. You want this? Come get it. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh! Just got blasted. 
All right. Oh, so sorry. All right. Toss her in there for no particular reason. And uh, you know what we haven't done since we've gotten in here? We haven't saved our game, so let's go ahead and do that. All right, now that we saved our game, we're gonna go up top here. Hopefully there won't be any announcements so I can uh, talk a little bit. All right, so there is an achievement in the game called Big Boy or Tall Boy or something along those lines where you get it for doing a drop uh, assassination on a tall boy. If you are doing this mission in a Powers playthrough, the easiest tall boy to get, in my opinion, is this guy. And if you watch, he will come stand around in here and he will walk really close to this balcony. If you do a big blink over here to this balcony, you can jump off the balcony and onto him and uh, take him out. That's probably the best way to do it when he stands like right here because he's stopped. However, we don't have the ability to do that. So there's two ways to do it without powers in my opinion. One is from this balcony. The other is to make your way all the way back down to street level, get up on these boxes and then get up here and take him out when he stands right like this. So that's another stationary position he's in for quite a while that allows you to get off that balcony and onto his head. Uh, either one works, it just, Things are bad. getting across yeah, this without being works. seen Maybe is really rough. So. so just FYI, we're going to blink down here. We are then going to put on our gun, get up on here, and see just how good MC's jumping skills are. We're gonna wait for him to come back across and see if I can jump on top of him. Come on. You don't have to do this. I'm literally just doing this to show you that it can be done. If he'll walk back over here. I tried doing it from the light before and he just sees me, so. All right, come on. Walk over here, Slick. beating fast on that one all right if you loot his body oh hey rats hey hey, hey, hey. come here come here come here come here yeah eat that and eat that come on eat this get him take his body Got another body for you. We're not done yet. Oh yeah, big piece. All right, good times. All right, they're all out of the way now. So that's how we do that. But anyways, yeah, if you get over onto these bo uh, boxes, you get up on that balcony uh, without uh, a big blank or anything along those lines. Um, it's just a matter of getting from this side of the street to this side of the street without getting spotted by the tall boy can be problematic. Uh-oh. Ruh-ruh. Oh, ro oh you guys want some of this? It's because I was standing like a dummy and not crouching in sneak mode. That's fine. Where are you girls at? Can we do it again? Oh, there's two of them over here. Alright, I don't know that we can do it again. Okay, meant to blink. Meant to blink. Uh oh. Alright, 
Now I'm scared to blink down there. I can't believe we wasted two bullets, damn it. Alright, maybe we can get this last one as he walks back. Can we do it two times in a row? Oh, we got this one too. Oh, it's time to run. Oh, we got him on the other one was walking away. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, all right. So there's a rune over here in the water. We're not going for that because I don't really care about it. But uh, just FYI, it's there. We are going to go up here and get some bullets, though. We are going to do it while we're sneaking. I'm going to assume in your game that uh, he must have seen the severed body parts. And that's what made him walk over here. We'll just throw him in the river. I'm going to assume in your game that that didn't happen. So if you're trying to avoid the uh, tall boys to get that bone charm, I will show you how to do that. And another way to get into the party. So, we'll wait for tall boy number whatever. Uh, you could always lure this one back over here with a few gunshots, I suppose. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to sneak across. I don't know what's in here. My guess is nothing, but maybe there are bullets. That'd be nice. Bullets, maybe? Coin. Yeah, I'll take a coin, too. All right, come over here. Get up on the boxes. Get up on here. Drop down. Put our weapons away. And then head up here, and this chick has an Why invitation that will blow away, and you can go grab it. Oh. don't chase after that. All right. That went my invitation. And we'll use the invitation with the guard. Invitation, please. Another yes, it is I, Mr. Bunting. Francis, I suppose we've no choice but to play. It's going to be brilliant. It's going to be inexpressibly tiresome. Right this if way, you're sir. If not going to have fun, maybe you should go home. I'll struggle on once we locate the wine. Harold takes pride in being difficult. As much as you take in being easy. Shall we go in? Emma insisted we Whoa. move out by the curb. Well, I'm going to catch a plague and die waiting out here. Oh. I'm sure she'd like that. All right. Uh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, Mr. Bunting. Yes. I just had it someone here pretending to be you. I hope you arrested well, them. Thank you. All right, grab this. We'll grab our sticky grenades. And there is a door here. Anyway, waiting for Emma. I'll drink to that. Which part? Any of it. Any of it. All right, that takes you outside. I don't think there's anything in here. Health. We don't need health. All right. I'm watching you. Another party game. Watch me all you want. It was fun for a season, but no. Yeah, I'm not pickpocketing them. All right, from here, we're going to head up here and deal with uh, Lord Shaw. Yes. Yes. Pendleton? Hmm. What's he got to say to Your me? Your wife's a goat-faced monkey. Pendleton is a gutless, lying sack of shit. I hope he's paying you well for this. Damn cold tonight. Hurry up, and let's see what you're made of. Be it noted that Lord Pendleton's representative has a pistol. You may proceed. A contest of honor Ooh. will take place between this anonymous Five gentleman bullets. acting for the challenger, Lord Trevor Pendleton, and Lord Shaw, the challenged party. 
You will each turn and proceed to the marked positions and remain facing away from each other as I count down from three. You may then turn and fire Get at all. Get on with it. I'll kill this fool and we can all go back inside. Sorry, my lord. We shall proceed. We shall. To whiskeys and cigars. All right. Somebody's about to get shot. Stop. Stand right there. I am already standing there. Three. Two. One. <laughs> What's <the> oh. <laughs> Uh, so good, so good. All right. We will toss this body over here. Make sure you loot Lord Shaw, too, because he's got 100 coins on him, if you didn't see that. It's sad that they can see through the bushes. If there were to be a guard that would walk up in there, they would totally see the bodies. I wish the bushes would obscure the bodies more. Because they look pretty hidden there, I mean. Alright, now, let's go get that bone charm I was telling you about. So, we're going to go out the way we came in during the stealth playthrough. So we're gonna come over here, put a blink on, for whiskey and cigars tonight? No, get up no. here, and then we're gonna blink over onto here. And then from here, if you get to the edge, you should be able to blink onto the balcony. Don't blink on that pillar, because you can see it's actually underneath this uh, venting, or ductwork rather. All right, inside, grab some feathers. We'll grab the medicinal herbs that I left you a note about in the last video. We're gonna grab that processed whale oil. Grab this, this, that, and let's see, we'll grab this. All right, and then we're going to head into the party, but I wanna show you something before we go, but because that's all out of the way, let's go ahead and save our game. All right, now that we saved our game, we're gonna go ahead and sneak, head out here, and there is an achievement to be gotten for killing, I think, five people at once, and this is a great place to get that achievement. So we'll get up on here, we'll do a quick drop assassination on him, we will sneak, move his body over there so it's not doing that. All right, now, if you look down here, there is one, two, three weepers in this corny. You can't see the third one. You can't see the third one. And then there's this one here. And there's this one here. Um... You know what, I'll save and show it to you by going down there and then I'll reload and uh, we'll talk about the achievement. All right, we'll just run down here and I'll show you what the, where these guys all are. I'm sorry that there are five of them down here. So one, two. So you could see that there were actually, I think, six of them down there, to be honest. Alright, so with that in mind, if you just stand right on the edge of this balcony, turn your cursor like this, and put on a grenade, you can take your grenade and cook it off until the almost the last second and drop it right about kind of here, and that's gonna get all of them. So now if we go down there, they're all down. There's one body. One, two, three. 
she was four, he was five. That will get you your Tempest achievement. So if you're looking for that, this is an just a super easy way to get it on a uh, high chaos playthrough. But you have got to be on high chaos for that to work because I think on the low chaos playthrough, there are only like three weepers down there. Um, I believe in the previous walkthrough video, I did a dark vision view of that area and there's only three of them. So keep that in mind. Hopefully that helps you out. That's how I got my Tempest achievement, and it's just, as I said, it's super freaking easy. Alright, we're gonna head back through here. Back out the way we came. And we're gonna get up in this room, because there's more loot to be had in this room. Alright, if you have used any rewire tools previously and haven't been able to fill up, that's where you're gonna fill up on rewire tools. We'll grab this key, a little bit of money. head downstairs. There's gonna be some copper wire in here we want to pick up. Grab the copper wire and then head out this door right here. Put your weapons away. And then we'll head into the party. Hello. Oh my. Careful. We tried for a peek upstairs and the man on duty is an ass. I should have tried some manners. <laughs> I love signing the guest book. I don't know why. All right. Uh, now that we're inside here, uh, we're going to save our game real quick. All right. Let's go get... Welcome to the Royal Estate. Let's go talk to this chick. You're a scandal in that mask. I like a man with poor judgment. Would you get me a drink? I'd be so grateful. Go out here... What most people don't remember is, the rats came a half a year before the Empress died, and the plague too. Are you sure? That's not how I remember it. There's something caused this. It's not the Emperor. Excuse me. Come and entertain. Thank you so much. Now, how can I thank you? Oh. Are you playing Lady Boyle's guessing game? Mm -hmm. Well, I know for a fact that Waverly's in my In mourning for her reputation, I expect. Additionally, that he is in red. Uh, okay, which means Esma is in white. I say nothing against the Lord Regent. All right, we'll go back here, find the guy with the mask. There he is. I know your mission tonight. We must speak privately. All right, let us speak privately. After I pickpocket you. Oh! Please stop that. Welcome to the Royal Estate. a few favors for your cause. I know your purpose here tonight, and how to say this, your target is the woman I love. I swear that if you'll bring her to me unharmed, you will never hear of her again. There's a cellar directly below the kitchen. I'll wait for you there. I'm not proud of this, but surely it's better than seeing her killed. Her name is Waverly. I won't harm her, I swear. I'm a man of means. Just bring her to the cellar, and I will keep her safe with me. Forever. Okay. Alright, I want to give him some time to get to the cellar before we kick things off in here. So, we'll go to the kitchen. Actually, you know what? Welcome to the party. You should see this as an opportunity. Go ahead, take it. Everyone does. All right, he's gone. Welcome to the Boyle Estate. All right. Sure, in a few. All right, so Waverly's in black. Let's have a little fun, shall we? Oh, what is it what? now? We have a key along. that I need. Hey. Yes, sir. Advised to limit their enjoyment to the ground floor. Stop at once. I will limit my enjoyment to the ground floor, maybe. I think she ran out. All right. We will rewire, rewire, 
Crossbow bolts. They were sexual rights, I can only assume. Oh, and then we're gonna run around here, back towards the kitchen. We found out what the whales could do when it excuse me. No guests past this point. Alright, we'll get the guard to come down here. Then go upstairs and cause all sorts of trouble. Hopefully shit doesn't jump off early. We're just gonna chill here in the corner. I can't eat the jello mold? What's up with that? Now the reason I'm hiding from him is because if shit jumps off, he freaks out. And by shit jumping off, I mean uh, if somebody walks into the wall of light, obviously the guards get a little uh, suspicious. So, Okay, we are in Ismay's room, and, or Esma's room, or Yoda's room, whatever. And we're going to do that, do that, come in here, no loot to be had in there since she's not our target. Small pearl. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's go outside and take care of this guard while we're here. Forbidden. Not forbidden for me. Get him out of the way. Uh, okay, that was... I hate when I have blink on and I mean to... I hate when I have a pistol on and I make a blink. Uh, his body can stay down there, whatever. Head through here, get some loot. down into Waversley's room, and apparently the painting moves based on whoever your target is. Or so I've been told. Grab the Dunwall key, grab this tray, read her book. That just says that she's worried somebody's gonna kill her, so that's her motivation to go with you. I do not know if you can stir up a bunch of shit and then choke her out and still take her downstairs. I'm assuming that that's the case. They put four guards up top. That's not a regular deployment. Well, three of us at Tom. Tell me about it. Three of four us at Tom. Here guarding an empty hallway. What's that mean to you? Relax. We're just the reserves. In case what? Lady Boyle tries to shake down one of her guests. In case me. It's something else. You can feel it at the party, though. Oh, you should be able to feel it nervous. real well right now, buddy. Something's coming. I wish it were Marcy. It's Just me. stay alert. Yeah, stay alert. How did you not see that? Gun out. Ha! Ah! Uh. Seems like the party's wrapped up. in here. It's at the other sister's room where all the big loot's at. 
But before we go there, there should be loot in here. And there sh should be loot in here. Everything seems in order. Try to get them to walk into the wall of light. All right. We will grab the vault key, the diary. Grab a massive number of pearls. Another pearl in here. Reward for guessing everybody's name tonight. Running now. Take it too. Take everything. Just don't kill me. Oh, where are the overseers at? I'm just gonna sit her here so she doesn't get shot. And we will pickpocket everybody. There are guards and overseers around here somewhere. There are at least two overseers in here. You're going to do it, aren't you? You can't stop yourself. Shush. Where are the overseers? Did they all get it? I think they ran into the wall of light. <laughs> Close that door. I hear one overseer talking. Right, we'll keep that door closed. Head down through here. We did grab the. Yeah, we did. All right. Give yourself up. Come out. We both know you're weak at heart. Okay, where did you go? Oh, Mr. Overseer, where are you? Wire tools I used to get that overseer to come find me. Overseer Bob, I'm right here. Oh god, no no. Why don't you walk down here? He's really not going to come up here? Yeah, he is. Oh, Overseer Bob, I'm up here, buddy. I 
want an overseer with a music box to come get me. To the void with you. To the void with you. How do we lose him? I'm right here. You didn't lose me. Aha, right here. Well, the reason I was okay with taking so much damage is I know there's about a billion things of food in here, so. Can someone assist me? I can assist you. I can assist you by choking you out. There should is there one more guard around here? I thought there was. Alright. Loot. 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 Hey, loot. Drink a little cider. Oh no, oh no, please. Loot. Loot. Help. Loot. Uh, loot. Help me! Help me, Rhonda, help me! Alright, so they've all been looted. Oh, yeah. Stand clear. Be dodging my slide attack. Come on now, son. Can't someone assist me? I can assist you. All right, loot. Help me. Loot. Guards out. Guards, of the way. someone help me. Guards, someone. Oh God. I can help you by stealing your money. That's how I can help. I need assistance. Will somebody help me? Uh, that's that. Oh, 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 oh. Can't someone help me? I could help you if you had money, but if you don't Can have money. Can't someone assist me? Can't help you. Uh, we looted her. Is there anybody else out here other than our favorite sister? Did we already loot you? We did. All right, let's take our favorite sister downstairs. Boy, woo, she's stout. Snore is loud. Someone help me, damn it! Help. Ooh, there's someone down here with money. Just get knocked out. I'll run to the kitchen. Someone help! Someone, please, no! Oh, please, no, oh. no, no! God! That's how you properly crash a party. All right, we're gonna sneak. Head across. Where is she? Hurry and bring her to me. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. You found her. Quickly, let's get her on board. Last. Oh, my love. Someday you will understand. You'll never know how happy you've made me. Someday she'll learn to appreciate me. After all, she'll have her whole life. <laughs> See you, Steve. <clears throat> oh, let me out of the cutscene. Let me out. Alright, back to sneaking. Go get in the vault, because, you know, there's vaulty things in there. Oh, all the money. Definitely need the money. Are we full on? Yes, we're full on all that stuff. Alright, out we go. 
And then we will flee from the rat. Cannot catch us. Out the door. I think we'll go up back up to the first floor and try our luck with uh, the civilians out front. I think there are still a few more that we haven't looted yet. Somewhere. Uh, up here, maybe. The party's indoors this time. Is it? And just what are you doing? Damn it! Blink! Someone get over here! Firing! Damn place! Knock that off. Okay. That was fun. Just for all... All that? Just for a little money? Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, what did I miss? You know what? There is a, uh... I'm going back for a health potion. I know there's at least one in the kitchen. Oh no, he's back! I thought he left! Oh god! Oh please! No, no, no! Just when you thought I was out, I come back in. Alright. Now we'll go out. And so that we don't need to deal with any of the tall boys, I'm gonna hit a blink over here. You know what? There's a health potion right over here, if I recall correctly. Going back in was unnecessary. Alright. Uh, link here. Link here. Downstairs past what I'm going to assume are rats at this point. No? No rats are feasting yet? Oh, alright. Grab some medicinal herbs. Check on a guard. Someone Shh. Go to sleep. Say, so check on the position of a guard that should be, and yep, there he was. there a rewire tool at? Wasn't there a rewire tool over here? There was one in some room. I know that. I just don't remember what the room was. I know there's one over here. question of where is that tall boy at? Oh, he's going across the bridge. Where was that other rewire tool at? I can't remember. We heard one of the street scum say there was a boat on the canal with one or two people aboard. Keep a look. Oh, I'm running. You won't stop me. Oh. Oh. Zigzag. 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 Get in the water. Samuel, let's go, buddy. We got tall boys on our ass. 
Get out of here, Slick. Oh, what? Well, Samuel won't talk to me. I hope All you right. enjoyed your evening, sir. I did. But we'd best be on our way. Quickly. You have no idea. Let's go. Okay, so we picked up all of our bone charms and we got all of our paintings. So we got our oh damn, we got real close to picking up all the money too. Excellent. So that was awesome. <laughs> Boy, that was fun at the end. That was kind of a shit show, but you know, I, you know me in melee combat. So uh, I need to really learn to put my gun on and not the blink. Uh, the, the blinking when you mean to shoot something is high. I, I advise against that. That's not not the approach you want to take. But anyways, that wraps us up for this one. If you guys got questions, comments, or concerns, share them with me in the comment section below. But if you got anything out of the video, I sure would appreciate a like on the video or a sub on the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Take care.